going to do? See, we need to stop blaming other folk because it's your choice. You decided who you're going to roll with. And the Lord sometimes, many times, just sit back and say, okay, if that's what you choose, then you're going to go on and deal what's with behind you. But also ask the question, what's beside you? Because if you're flowing with God and, and you're in a covenant relationship with Him, everything that follows God is going to be with you. And God is a God of blessings. So if, you, if you, you're yoked with Him, then wherever you go, blessings are on His life, blessings going to be on your life. Because you just you just connected Sister Jones with God. So you need to be in trouble with who's beside you. Are y'all hearing me? Don't just ask Brother Darren who's behind you, but who's beside you, Brother Donald? Because if you yoke with somebody that's nuts, that's why the Bible teaches us don't be unequally yoked. The Bible teaches us do not be unequally yoked. You don't want to be tied to somebody that's off the chart. Because if you tied to somebody off the charts, guess what's following you? Amen. I'm trying to help somebody for free. Catch this now. If you are yoked with insanity, how are you going to reap sanity? Think about that. There has got to be some drama attached to you. Because you are attached to drama. Doesn't that make sense? Amen. That's why you just don't want to hook up with any and everybody. That's why you want to seek God. You say, I can't have just anybody beside me. Because if I want favor, then you want favor beside you. You don't want curse beside you. Because if curse is beside you, guess what you're going to read? Now turn and look at your neighbor real good. Look him up and down. I know you've been wanting to. <laughs> Anybody need change seats? <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> it's important. It's important. What's beside you? Because you read what's beside you. You, you can't expect something different. That's why God be directing us and doesn't want us tied to people that's off the charts, off the chain. Because when you get tied to them, some of that goes flow in your life. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I done had enough drama. God has sent a prophet. We need this verse. The Spirit of the Lord is going to preach and to deal with people because what, what, what the, the broader context of verses 1 through 3 really in our chapter is that God is going to render mercy to this group that's pitiful. Hello somebody. Because I just told you now, Israel is not even in bondage until getting ready to go and God is going to be merciful to this group that's pitiful. Now, I don't want you to become spiritual snobs because I'm suggesting to us that all of us have had a season where we were pitiful. 
Matter of fact, every now and then you ought to just come in and praise God and lose your mind for him for his mercy over your life when you will come pick up the phone. Amen. I got a few of y'all. Some of them are still there smiling with me. Amen. I mean, give me that. That was really, that was right there enough to just, you know, we could have just went in right there. We could have went in, because, you know, if you really think about it, we, there's been some seeds and we were just pitiful. Come on now. And yet God was merciful, gracious to us. Come on now. Come on in here. Come on. Hey man, look up and down your road. Look up and down your road. God has been good. He's been merciful. And we some pitiful people. Say like plum pitiful. Plum pitiful. I got to be a country for me. Preacher, why, why you say that? How are we going to be pitiful? Because some of you are looking like, I'm not sure I'm pitiful, but I wasn't really that bad. Or something, or something like that. I really wasn't that bad. Or See, I want to suggest to us, I want to suggest to us, you know, ladies, some of y'all fell in love with the same kind of man two or three times. Did you know what I'm saying? Now, now, if the first man broke your heart, why did you get another man like the first man who broke your heart? <laughs> Somebody say, that's pitiful. That's pitiful. That's good. That's good. Hey, I'm equal opportunity. Brothers, brothers, some, some brothers, man, you know, fell in love with two or three ladies. It was just the same. Except one had longer hair than the other. I'm just being for real. I mean, the sisters were really the same. This one had a longer show in than the other. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. The only difference. Same issues. Same kind of drama. Somebody say, that's good. Just the that it's plump, that's it's just plum pitiful. It's just plum pitiful. It's plum. Why, why are we doing that? Then? See, uh, turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Hey. Hold, on. Hold on. He's coming your way. Hey. <laughs> you, 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 you told God, God, you know, help me quit cussing. I'm going to quit cussing. I'm going to quit cussing, God. I'm going to praise you more. And then just this week, you cuss the man. Gave him a piece of your mind. Now you done came in here with part of your mind missing. All the pieces you gave out this week. Somebody said, that's pitiful. Mm, it's getting hot now. Ushers, they need some fans. Bring back the fans, ushers. They're getting warm. <clears throat> See, here you were, here you were, here you was now. You, you know, went to the club and leave it out with somebody you never met. Said you'd never do that again. And now you're over 40. Said that when you was 22. Somebody said that was pissed. Here you are, said, I'm going to quit drinking. Then you took one drink, it led to another, led to another. You don't remember when you went to bed, how you got to bed, how you got in that bed. Somebody said this. Yes. I feel like I'm on the road. Because I don't need to preach no more. I'm telling you. They don't make sure they got quiet. Hoping they don't all come to their house. Talk about the lottery ticket that they can win. But I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to bring it up. I ain't going to bring it up, hell. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to. I ain't gonna do that. 
welcome back. Amen. I wonder if they miss me now. They may not miss me now. See, here we are. That's why we ought to be excited about God's mercy. Because we done some stuff that was plumb. My God, if you had it to do over. Can we just be kind of talk to the real people? That's some people up in here. If you had to do over, there's a whole bunch of I definitely would not do that. I would have been at that place. I would have been at that person. I would not have done it. Every now and then, you can just lose your mind and praise God that he calls you when you are plumb pitiful. You didn't die. You didn't catch the disease. Y'all ain't hearing me. Really. The Lord didn't have you put in jail somewhere. He kept on blessing you over and over and over again. And you were plumb pitiful. Now you try to act like you super sad. Done totally forgot where the Lord brought you from. You better recognize you ain't always been where you at right now. Hello, somebody. You did some stuff that was plump pitiful. Mm. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I really ought to shout. God is grace and mercy. It's been phenomenal. I'm trying to hold my seat here. I'm supposed to get through the rest of this text, but I feel so good because of his mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He covered me. Anybody a witness and warrior of the Lord? Perfect. You were some places you could have died, could have got hurt, but the Lord covered you. Did some stuff you really shouldn't have been doing, but God covers. I mean, put some stuff in your body you really shouldn't have put in there, but the Lord we just covered. So if somebody just sitting next to you, you don't understand. The only reason you're sitting here is because God just covered. Hello, somebody. You just thankful and grateful that He covered you. For many scenes and unseen, He just covered me. Yeah, could have lost my mind, but he 